It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. It certainly did not feel like late October around here. And we are looking at uh, some storms to move in here pretty quickly. As you can see, just off into Utah, we have some wet weather. It's calm for the rest of us in terms of any moisture, but it is certainly very windy in Colorado today. So we have this cold front in an area of low pressure right now just off to our west. And these are going to be our weather makers as we head into the late night hours tonight and into Tuesday. So this cold front is going to work its way through tonight and through through to, uh, tomorrow and that low will bring us the moisture the air uh, the cold front is going to bring us the wind and the cooler temperatures so we're looking at the chance of snow mainly in the northern and central mountains tomorrow maybe a little bit of rain here in Denver but for the front range eastern plains what we're looking at is cooler temperatures and it will be windy at times especially out on the eastern plains we'll talk about that in just a moment so future cast for tonight we're fairly dry for the next couple of hours but then that rain will ramp up late tonight some snow as well in parts of the high country there will still be a few scattered showers down in the southwest, but the bulk of what's coming is in the northern and central mountains. And then we do have a chance of a few rain showers around the Denver area with some snow continuing in the mountains throughout the afternoon. And again, again, there's that little blip of rain that's possible throughout the afternoon and evening across the front range. Southern Colorado, unfortunately, not a huge impact for you. We know you need the moisture as well. And then we'll see this clear out late on Tuesday night and be gone by Wednesday. So it's pretty quick for us. So northwestern mountains, we're talking our flat tops, our park mountains and the Elks. Looking at about four to eight inches of snow starting late night tonight through tomorrow evening and checking in with our um, red flag warning. So on the other side of the state, southeastern Colorado, we're dealing with fire danger. So the two corners of the state dealing with entirely different forecasts here. Fire danger extremely high with gusty wind and low humidity. And of course, warm temperatures continue in that area. Temperatures tonight, though, we have got the 20s and 30s in the high country, 40s and 30s for the front range in eastern plains. So not too bad for the front range and now east a little chilly in the high country tomorrow morning. Temperatures tomorrow, we're looking at the 30s and 40s in the mountain areas. A little warmer down to the south where we're not seeing the huge impacts of that snow, mainly in the 50s, but we're looking at 61 here in Denver, 60s, 70s out east, and that's a little different than what we saw today. 77 are high today out at DIA, 77 here downtown as well. So we are running 13 degrees above normal. So we get a little closer to normal, actually below normal tomorrow, and we have a couple of days near normal as until we head to the later part of this week. 69 from our weather watcher couple Weldon and Carol Schneider and looking at our temperatures right now it's still 73 in Denver 77 in Greeley. We have the 80s in southeastern Colorado 50s 60s in the high country 60s off to the west and for our five day forecast 65 on Wednesday actually a very normal day for this time of year lots of sunshine then we start to warm up as we head into the weekend Thursday and Friday and Saturday we will be in the low 70s with a lot of sunshine so we'll take all the moisture that we can get Jim from this quick system that's moving through.